Welcome, beloved. Welcome once again to our Bread of Life mini message. Yes, it's our first one for 2022. We want to wish you and your family a year of love and joy for this new year ahead. And a year where Jesus Christ is increasingly the center of your life. If you've got your Bibles with you, please turn to the New Testament, the book of Colossians. Colossians, written by Paul, verse chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3. I'm going to read there a few verses from verse 8 to verse 12. Colossians 3, verse 8 to verse 12. Ready? Here we go. But now ye... Also put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man with these deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor circum uncircumcision, barbarian, scythian, bond, nor free. But Christ is all and in all. Verse 12. Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, Humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering. Yeah, that's a long list. Up to there, our reading, beloved. I've titled this message this morning, Sharing Some Sunshine. <laughs> yeah, shasha, sh it's a little bit of a, a shasha one there. <laughs> Sharing Some Sunshine. As you people, people might know, it's summer here in Queensland. But in other places, we're having cold, cloudy days. And they are maybe wishing for some sunshine. Now, you may ask, well, what can I do as a Christian this new year for the Lord? Well, share some sunshine. <laughs> now for a short story. This is a story of a quiet old man who carried a little can of oil with him everywhere he went. Just like you will carry your mobile phone with you wherever you go today. This man, if he walked through a door that squeaked, he poured a bit of oil on the hinges, as you can see. If a gate was hard to open, he oiled the latch. Thus this man passed through his life, lubricating all hard places and made it easier for those who would come behind him. People thought he was a weirdo. He was cranky and unfriendly, but he went steadily every day, refilling his oil can, and when it became empty, oiled and filled it and oiled in all the hard places he found. You know, there are many lives today that creak and grate these days. Nothing goes right with them or for them. They need some lubrication of gladness, gentleness and some thoughtfulness. Be ready with your oil of helpfulness. You can start in the early morning to the one closest to you, even with a cup of tea or coffee. It may lubricate them for the whole day. The oil of good cheer to the downhearted person. A word of encouragement to the despairing one. A word spoken pleasantly is a large ray 
of sunshine on a very sad heart. We don't know the grief of others. We cannot see the souls that sorrow. But love can shine upon their way today and tomorrow. Therefore, dear beloved, give others the sunshine. But tell Jesus the rest. Put on that kindness as God's elect and be kind to someone. Ask God to fill up your lamp with oil today. Give me oil in my lamp. Amen. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep me burning.